The NFL is using the Super Bowl to honor health care workers who have battled against COVID-19. Two Minnesota nurses will be among 7,500 frontline workers who are all newly vaccinated and will be in the stands in Tampa. WCCO's Caroline Cummings spoke with the two women who say it is an honor of a lifetime. It was super stressful, like mm -hmm. physically, emotionally, all of it. For longtime nurses and friends, Heidi Brisky Gaynor and Kelly Culver, COVID-19 blindsided them when the disease hit their Minnesota hospitals last year. Ever since then, it's been a fight to the finish. I had to talk to myself into going to work every day. Yeah, me too. But vaccines changed the game, each of them having scored both of their doses. Like a giant weight being lifted off our shoulders. That work and sacrifice hasn't gone unnoticed. Each member of your team to be our guest at the Super Bowl. And in a few days, there will be stadium sized recognition at the Super Bowl. Huge Super Bowl fan. We have a party every year. That party will undoubtedly look a little different this year. This time, Heidi and Kelly are in Tampa and will watch the big game Sunday from the stands. Joining them, 7,500 vaccinated healthcare workers. The NFL gifted free tickets as a token of their appreciation. Everyone's been so through like so much in 2020. Um, you know, it's beyond the healthcare workers. It's everyone, and we're just honored and grateful that we're being thanked in such a huge way. And when the game is over and the trophy is awarded, the pair will go back to work and continue their fight against COVID-19. So normalcy can triumph once again. The vaccine came out and it's like, oh, oh, I can keep running. I can keep running to the end of this because there is an end in sight. Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. And you can watch Tom Brady's Buccaneers take on Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs this Sunday on WCCO. Kickoff is at 530.